Today I'm going to show you how to create this fluffy text effect here in Illustrator. First, we're going to need the text for it. So I made this custom typo made out of stroke lines. And I also going to show you a method how you can do this without many skills. So I'm going to select the type tool and I'm going to go here and type in script. For example, I'm going to go with a Karimba script, but you also can choose a normal sans serif font. For example, the inter or whatnot. But right now I'm gonna test out with the letter P. So all you need to do is select the font, right click, create outline. I'm gonna right click on group. Right now I'm gonna delete the bottom text and I'm gonna work with this. So I'm gonna select the direct selection tool and delete the top anchor point, which is in the center, delete the bottom anchor points. And I also gonna cut these, press and hold shift, cut these anchor points here with the anchor, this is it, cut pad selected. There you go. And I'm going to select it, right click, release compound path. And I can select these lines and I can select the pen tool, connect it back. And I also going to switch it from fill to stroke. So right now it's on fill. I'm going to swap it and select both shapes, go to object, blend, make, make sure to have one line in between. You can go and double click on the blend, select specified step and make sure it's on one. And I'm going to do the same thing with this curvature for demonstration purposes. So this might not work correctly. Select both, go to object, blend, make. See that? So this is what I'm talking about. It's not that perfect, but it shortcuts, you know, the whole process of creating something from scratch. You can select both, go to object, click on expand, click OK, right click on group. And now you can select these and remove the side lines. Now these are of course complicated. I suggest you to try it out first with a normal sans serif font. All right. So after you are done, we're going to swap it from stroke to fill. Make sure you don't have anything on the stroke. Click on the none, click on the fill. So it's going to be on the top. Let's select the circle, press and hold shift plus alt to create a circle. Let's go to the gradient, activate the gradient, double click on the white, and we're going to choose a blue color and double click on the black and choose another contrasty color. Press and hold alt, drag it to the right, also press shift. This way we got two copies, select both, go to object, blend, make. And now we're going to go to the blend, double click here and select specify steps again. And I'm going to bump it up to 999. Click OK. Now take that in mind, this might slow down your computer because of a lot of layers in between those copies. And now I'm going to bring in the text. And as you can see, these circles are pretty big. So I'm going to press Ctrl Shift plus Alt, scale it up. And this is how thick I want to make the circles that is going to be on the stroke lines. And I also going to need to create multiple of these copies because it is going to replace every shape of these. So we're going to need a blend for every each. Press and hold Alt and create copies. Press Ctrl D to duplicate and I'm going to select the first one of this blend and press and hold shift select the stroke line from the text and we're going to go to object blend and select replace spine and you're going to need to do the same thing with the rest with a new blend blend replace and from here we're going to need to add that first so I'm going to select all the text go to the effects distort and transform and select the roughen Make sure to have these settings on relative and corner. And all you need to do is just increase the size and also increase the details. And it's going to make it more and more furry. Click OK. And this is how you make this furry text effect here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.